one last little short video. I talked earlier about digital selective calling and about using the distress button and the difference between a simple distress call and a regular distress call. It's going to be very important that you understand that. But if you're trying to raise somebody such as the United States Coast Guard and talk to them on voice communications, there are six internationally recognized and frequencies that are set aside just for this purpose for voice communication. These are known as the GMDSS voice distress and signaling frequencies. These are also known as 2, 4, 6, 8, and 12, excuse me, 2, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 16 megahertz safety channels. The, uh, the uh, ICOM M802 has these programmed permanently in its memory as safety channels. You, if you hit uh, such, you're going to come up with excuse me, 80009, you're going to come up with this channel. Uh, 120009 comes up, whoops, enter, sorry, I didn't hit enter, comes up with 12 safety. I also have them program into my user selectable channel list. If I go to, say, channel 27, that's 8 safety. And I have them right in a row here, so you can get there's 12 safety, there's 8 safety, there's 6. These channels are very important for you to understand. The U.S. Coast Guard monitors these frequencies. 8291, 12290, those are the two most popular frequencies. These are known as the GMDSS, Global Marine Important Frequencies for you to know. It's laid out very detailed in lots of books and manuals and that. I just wanted to give you, make sure you understand that these can be programmed into your user selectable channel, such as channels 1 through 160, as well as they are in the permanent channel memory. I know in some countries 999 is the telephone number for emergency services for police, ambulance, fire department. In the United States, it's 911. Just remember 9. All you have to remember is 9. So if you're going to use, say, the A Let's say I turned on to talk to somebody on one of the uh, calling or distress channels, say 8 megahertz. I would just simply hit 8, 0, 0, 0, and that brings up the dash, 9, enter. And that brings me to the 8 megahertz safety channel. Of course, by pressing the uh, frequency channel knob here, it shows me it's 8291. If I wanted to go to the 12 megahertz thing, I would hit 1, 2, 0, 0, 0, 0009 and enter takes me to the 12 megahertz safety channel. And again, I'm pressing the frequency channel button shows me the frequency. I can do the same thing with the display showing here. If I wanted to say go to the 16 megahertz, I would hit 160009 enter and it takes me to 16420. 6 megahertz, I would go 60009 enter takes me to the 6 megahertz 4 0, 0, 0, 9, enter and to notice that these frequencies of uh, 4125 6215 8290 these are the five of the six internationally assigned distress and signaling frequencies the United States Coast Guard, depending on which station you're calling, monitors these. Uh, the 6 and 8 megahertz channels are monitored 24 hours a day by all U.S. Coast Guard stations. Uh, in the Pacific, they also have a 24-hour day monitoring on 4 and uh, 12 megahertz. And uh, daytime monitoring of uh, 12 megahertz here on the East Coast, as well as nighttime monitoring of the 4 megahertz channel here on the East Coast. Uh, as well as they also monitor these in... Um, in Guam and in the Honolulu as well. Um, don't worry too much about using these channels to raise somebody because aside from the United States Coast Guard and a few other shore stations around the world, nobody's listening to these channels anymore. There is no voice radio watch with the exception of the US Coast Guard on 4, 6, 8, and 12 megahertz. There's no voice radio watch. Since uh, January of 1999, there are no vessels at sea have been required to maintain a voice radio watch on any MF or HF communications frequency. They all, over 300 tons, are... 
You know, all vessels over 300 tons or uh, on international voyages are required to maintain a DSC radio watch. This is usually done from a separate dedicated DSC watch receiver, which is why signaling by DSC is becoming much more important to you, the cruiser at sea. You might see a vessel ahead of you in line of sight. You can raise them on VHF. But if you're trying to raise a vessel 100, 200 miles away from you that may have passed you yesterday or maybe behind you or crossed your path a day ago, you're not going to be able to raise them on VHF. You're going to have to call them on DSC functions. Not necessarily distress if it's not a distress function. The DSC function would allow you to send them a routine call using this DSC button going to the DSC menu. You can send a routine call, such as an all ships routine call, something to that effect. You can also do a safety or urgency call that would not necessarily be a distress call. These are very important things for you to learn about the ICOM M802. It's uh, spelled out very uh, succinctly in the uh, manual. It's a little bit difficult to go through sometimes, but I think if you uh, study it in front of the radio, watch these videos, you should have a fairly good understanding of it. The reason I'm showing you these uh, voice safety channels, such as uh, 8291, uh, 12290, uh, 60, excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me, 6215. The reason I'm showing you these channels is because these are the channels that you will use to coordinate with another vessel or a shore station after you have signaled them on DSC. After you've signaled them, whether it's a distress or a routine call or urgency or safety message, these are the voice communications channels that you'll use to communicate with them. People often ask, well, what channel do I use to call the Coast Guard on? Well, in years, years past, such as in the 40s and 50s and 60s, it was 2182. But since the 1970s, the U.S. Coast Guard has been uh, somewhat, uh, uh, somewhat reluctant to recommend that to people. The uh, increased atmospheric noise of the 2 megahertz band, as well as the inefficiency of most of the small vessel antenna systems on that band, means that it's not very effective. The uh, 8 megahertz frequency has been accepted worldwide, not just by some sort of international agreement, but it's been accepted worldwide by mariners, both in small pleasure boats as well as in large commercial vessels, as one of the most versatile channels to use. So if you really have to scream, and you can only scream on one channel for help, 8291 is what it would be. Although you've got your distress button here, that's what you need to use. 8291 is what you're going to use to coordinate after that distress signal has been called. You may use a, uh, a six, six frequency, a DSC, and you may get a response on 12 or 16 megahertz from a coast station. You may get a response on 4 megahertz from a vessel that's 7,500 miles away from you. But that, your radio will show you that. Your radio will tune to that channel, and you will be able to communicate directly with the vessel. Just wanted to show you these to remind you that nobody, nobody is monitoring 2182 anymore. Nobody is monitoring the 2 megahertz marine frequencies anymore. The U.S. Coast Guard stopped that earlier this year. Nobody has been monitoring those frequencies for years. It's unfortunate that the mainstream sailing press uh, doesn't actually make mention of this too often. It was just two years ago we had a um, wonderful glossy magazine here in the U.S. That's, um, oh, it's, it's probably read by um, hundreds of thousands of uh, of sailors and cruisers here in the U.S. as well as around the world, very popular magazine, and they had a, a wonderful story about a um, a rescue that happened on the way back from Bermuda back to the United States. The guy said he tried calling the Coast Guard on 2182 in the middle of the day from uh, about 600 miles away, or 500, 600 miles away, and was uh, surprised he didn't get a response. Um, of course, the uh, sidebar of the article talked about how programming your satellite phone with uh, emergency contact phone numbers, and it made no mention that um, 2182 was not just the wrong frequency to use that time of day, but with the exception of the U.S. Coast Guard at that time, no one else was monitoring that anywhere. And now, no one's monitoring it at all. U.S. Coast Guard announced a couple of years ago they were going to cease monitoring it, and they, they have this year. So take some advice. It's not factual that I can print out right here in front of me. But um, use your DSC functions if you get into trouble. Use your distress button if you get into distress. And uh, know that uh, 8 and 12 megahertz are going to be your friends for uh, more long-range communications. And for uh, more uh, regional communications, you may find a 4, 6, and 8 uh, to, to uh, be useful. The higher frequencies usually will have less noise, 
and better signal strength. I hope you enjoyed this series of videos. Thank you very much.